Hey everybody, you ready for another tech tip from D-Lab Electronics? I've got a PV Classic 30 came in here dead. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what the tip is. All right, so here's the history on the Classic 30. When it arrived, there was no output and this tube was not lighting, which I have pulled. It's right here, if you take a listen. Sounds like a little baby rattle, okay? So the filament's open on that tube, so I replaced it with a known good tube, and I still have absolutely no output. So my guess is, is that tube failed, probably shorted the high voltage to ground, and hopefully just popped the internal fuse. So let's open it up and inspect it. All right, so I have the chassis pulled down to where we can see things. The first thing that it caught my eye is somebody has already replaced the filter caps with FNTs, got those Illinois troublemaker caps out of it. So that's a really good thing. So let's check our fuses. We know that the main fuse is probably fine because the tube's light. Here is the high voltage fuse and that one is open. Should be a one amp. So let's change the fuse. I'm gonna check the tubes and make sure I have good ones installed and then we'll reapply power. So I've tested the uh, 6BQ5 tubes on my B&K 747. They're weak, but there's no shorts. So at this point, we're gonna flip it on, watch these tubes, see if any of them go into thermal meltdown. Worst case scenario, it'll blow the fuse. Here we go. So far, so good. Let's see if we get any output. Oh yeah, good deal. So, what I'm going to do next is get a whoa, get a fresh set of uh, tubes for it. We'll make sure that everything biases up, and then this classic 30 will be good to go. All right, so you can see that was a rather simple repair. Okay, I usually don't get that lucky, but. What you got to keep in mind is if you have one of these amps and something goes wrong and it blows that high voltage fuse, do not over fuse this amp. I have replaced many power transformers. So that 10 cent fuse can cost you an $80 transformer. Investigate everything, put in the proper size fuse, cross your fingers, turn it on. In this case, D-Lab got lucky. See you again.